Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening BX. Last time I promised you that we would go either to the graveyard or to the animal village. And well we can't go to the graveyard yet. Because it won't work as long as Marin is with us. By the way, that's the teleporter. It's kind of nice. Yes! It's Marina. She's not quite as little as you would like her to be. Oh, well. So that's a walrus everyone is talking about. Well, and he died. Oh. Sure. You do that and leave me alone. in the desert there's a couple of things you can do. By the way, these guys were pretty black in the original version, I believe. Somewhere in the game it is mentioned that there's black inhabitants of the desert, which doesn't sound racist at all, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, it talks about these guys, I think, and... Just get through the bushes, Link! Silly, silly link. No, oh, who the fuck is There's a secret seashell over here. By the way, if I'm not quite mistaken, then on the original Game Boy version, at least, you only have. To whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, not doing that again. You only have a limited amount of time. What? Um, you only have a limited amount of time. Um... I shouldn't read what this I would say. It's bad for my brain. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, you only have a limited amount of time. Oh hey, it's the second boss from Link to the Past. Um, to explore all of the desert. Um, because the walrus will eventually reset. Now, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. But it certainly... ...makes things interesting. Sure, it's all right that they got to the center of this room. Dang it! And we fall down the hole. And this is something that took me a couple years to find. Just like the other one. Oh, well. By the way, I believe we now have half of all hard, uh, hard pieces in this game. Also, we have explored the entire desert, yeah. It's only 2x8. Uh, 2 by, it's only 8 streets, yeah. You know what I mean. Obviously. No, go away and die in a fire. 
<sighs> a fish swimming up a cascade of water. If you ask me, it looks like a fish. Only like a fish. Nothing more. Nothing less. By the way, there is a cave if you go this way. But I think we can just not jump far enough. Or at least not very easily to get the treasures inside. Marin, teach me the power to paralyze furries. Yes, absolutely. No, Link, don't stab Marin. What are you, mad? Yes. Don't want to go through that again. But anyway... We got our first song. The Ballad of the Windfish. By the way, the annoying thing of the ocarina, you can only move up and down away from it, not left or right. That's why it's an annoyance in the inventory. Oh, well. I think Link to the Past had the same problem with that, basically. And where are we going next? Well, there's no point going to the World of Colors now, so let's sequence break a little bit. Eh, I was so trying to now get out of my get out of my way. You stupid thing! Not only are you kind of invincible, no, you have to get in everybody's way too. This is the way to level six. Just saying. Well, we are not going to have too much trouble, so there's that. Wow! Welcome to... The Face Shrine. Well, there's ruins here. Um... Is there anything here? I don't think so. You know what? I'm just gonna go... The way that I believe is right. Also, I should maybe get... Um, out. <sighs> ah, the shield. I don't usually use the shield, but it's kind of useful in this particular area to move these things out of the way. Actually, you can move them without breaking them up. If it, if it does that, then it will wake up when you touch it, so don't. Yay! A secret seashell. Come to think of it, there should be one right outside of Canalet Castle as well, that we can get by now. Come on, don't make any trouble. Go down there. Good boy. Over here as well. So naturally. Ah, come on. So, how are we gonna do this one? 
Ha! Managed to push him to the left. Excellent. And no owl here to annoy me. Great. So let's hope I have enough rupees to do uh, arrows to do this. Because this guy, um, I'm not even sure if you can beat him without the bow. I don't think so. To kill him, just stand behind him and do that until he dies. It's not too hard. But I'm pretty sure you can't hurt him with a sword. So you're kind of screwed if you come here without. Okay, the ocarina is in a bad, bad position there. In a really bad place. <laughs> The face key. Spoilers, this is the key to level 6. Hmm. Hmm. Well, then let's lighten things up a little. Hey, it's the owl and a whale. Interesting. Uh, keep the shield on for now. By the way, in case you are in the need of the arrows, you can find two here, and every time you enter and exit the building, they'll respawn. So there's that. You go away! If a cat is dead <laughs> inside of the box. Someday I will rip every single feather out of your feathery thing. Just would take forever. So I'd rather push them out of the way. Wah! Oh hey, it's one of them owls. I'm sure my brain isn't gonna break when I talk to it. Oh. How sad. Wait, that's me! Also, you don't hide secrets. Except this fairy! Come here, fairy! Ah! Or it can't just disappear mysteriously. You better run! Ha 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 ha! Oh well! So... 
I am going through all this because I believe there is a secret seashell under here. Wow, seriously? I am mildly disappointed in you, game. Okay, then let's leave this place because we can't really do a whole lot else here. We would need the ability to swim, I think. Now, to even get in the level 6. Also, I kind of need a way to... You know what? Screw that. You die. But I really could use some help. Well, considering the fact that next time we are definitely gonna go into the world of colors, I can just go in that direction and show you what you can do to heal up reliably. First things first, I believe there's a fairy in this tree. So yeah, you can do that. Um, what I was gonna say is go to the well in the village where we got the photograph with mine on the last episode and whack the bushes at the top. There's always hearts inside. Ah, oh, you know what? Yeah, I guess I should. But the first thing's fine. There's nothing there, I don't think. I was gonna say, I should maybe check out that place, but... Oh! Oh! We can check out this place! I guess. We haven't been on that one screen on the graveyard. This one. And it's not suspicious at all. Don't worry about these zombies. They respawn endlessly. Uh... No! I wanted the secret seashell, not the piece of power. By the way... There's a stack that's here. Yeah, well now I could use the piece of power. Piece of... Power? Ooh, I spy heart piece. No, no, no! Bah. So how are we gonna deal with the bat over there? Sounds about right. Let me just think for a second. Is it possible to get this? Before you get the Pegasus boots. I don't think so. Also, you're probably supposed to get another item to be able to get that hard piece. Oh, well, sorry for breaking your game. Okay, I was just checking if there was maybe a secret passage up there. Wow! And suddenly we come out on the other side at the graveyard. Cemetery, whatever. As long as there's dead people involved, I'm okay with that. So, why we're here, let's explore the map. Hmm, there's a couple of gravestones around. How weird! On a cemetery like this, the gravestones? Okay, these are the wastelands. There is not really a whole lot here. But you know what? I guess off screen I may pick up all of the land. Just to see if there isn't a secret seashell somewhere. Let's see, you know what? We are right next to the photographer. Uh, right, photographer right now? Photographer. Mr. Camera. 
So let's have a look at those nice pictures. Man, I am kind of padding this ep episode, aren't I? So if I'm not quite mistaken, we have three new pictures. This one. Hmm. This one. <laughs> ah, yes. And the look on their faces. Even the rooster hates Tarim. Oh well. So next time, word of colors. And enough padding. This episode is too long. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play. Wow. Um, let's just tell the Link's Awakening. Next time I'll meet you at the cemetery, the graveyard, and we'll go to the world of colors. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This is Leon, and fare thee well.